Dimitri Samarov, author of Pack Stories from a Chicago Cab. It's right after I graduated from the Art Institute, the School of the Art Institute, I moved back to Boston and uh, became a cab driver. From so I, I drove a cab there for most of from '93 to about '97. Then uh, in '97 I moved back to Chicago and went through a bunch of different jobs and. In 2003, I started driving a cab here, and I've been driving a cab ever since. First, second, and third, I'm a painter, you know? I, I draw and I paint. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of experiences doing this job that I couldn't really express just, just visually, so I started writing. For whatever reason, it, it's got some, like, one part confessional, one part you know, shrinks couch. They will talk about anything and everything, like whole life story in 15 minutes. It's it's my own little private theater for one. People have had sex in that cab. It's happened several times. I mean, I write about one of them in the book, uh, the, the trip out, out to Downers Grove, the, with the, the Cubs fans having sex in the cab and pretty much asking me if they could. They, they were already halfway there, I could tell. What, what was I going to do, stop them? I mean. I stand in the way of love, right? And I got a $30 tip, too, for that, for being cool about it. Several people have asked lately about whether, you know, driving a cab has sort of soured me on the human race kind of thing. And I think I started out more sour, actually, than I am now. And the examples I had going into it were the movie Taxi Driver and, you know, shows, you know, Taxi. I, I don't know what I thought. At the beginning, I probably was up for some sort of adventure. I, I guess I got it. 